I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT non-calculator section. College Board is asking us to solve a quadratic equation, and the solution they give has square roots in it, so our first guess should be that this is going to be quadratic formula. Let's try that. x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a where a is the quadratic coefficient, that's a 1x squared, so a equals 1. b equals the linear coefficient, negative 2x, so that's negative 2. I write these coefficients down partly so I don't mix them up and put, swap them, and partly so I don't drop the negatives. I'm really good at dropping negatives. Writing that down reminds me to put in the negative. c is the constant, which is negative 1. Substituting so those into this equation, I get x equals negative b is minus negative 2 is positive 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. Minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 is plus 4 over 2a, where a is 1, so 2a is 2. This simplifies to x equals 2 plus or minus root 8 over 2. And I can rewrite that as x equals 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 over 2. Factoring out a 2 from the numerator, it's 2 times 1 plus or minus root 2 over 2. And 2 over 2 is 1. So I get 1 plus or minus root 2. Now let's take a look at the question they're asking. The solutions are n plus root k and n minus root k, where n and k are positive integers. So n equals 1 and k equals 2. What is the value of n plus k? n plus k equals 1 plus 2 equals 3. So our answer would be 3. College Board will always ask you to solve quadratic equations, and usually at least one question on your SAT will require the quadratic formula. So it's worth reviewing this and reviewing skills that will reduce your error rate. I found that for me, writing the formula and writing the a, b, and c values helps me to so substitute them in with fewer careless errors. Come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.